So far, if you followed these lessons diligently, I am sure that you have more clarity about speed reading than you had when you started. We have discussed about the bad habits of reading, the misconceptions on reading and speed reading. I have also shared with you many tips on improving your reading speed immediately and also the concept of using a pacer. Now, in this lesson, I'm going to introduce you a new concept. The drills. We've discussed why comprehension while reading is the most important. From now on, you are going to train your eyes and mind to see faster and more content. How do you increase your speed reading and keep it at that level at least? The first answer is that you should read and read and read. The second answer is practice the drills I'm going to mention during this video lesson. They may seem strange at first, but believe me, the more you use them, the faster and more efficiently you will find you can go through printed materials. There are also some drills that you can do in order to increase your reading speed. I am sharing the drill which proved to be the most effective. While doing this exercise, speed is important and comprehension not so. Remember that you are only training your eyes now. Don't expect any results, just do the drills as mentioned. During the exercises, we consciously read at a speed more than our present reading speed. Your eyes have never felt the feeling of reading at double your present reading speed or even triple. And these drills will push your eyes to experience the feeling of reading at two times or three times your normal reading speed. Once your eyes and mind is getting used with this experience, you will want to read at your maximum potential. This is our main purpose. Now, here is the drill. Normal double triple drill. The purpose is to increase your speed rather than your comprehension. If you use this technique, you will learn what it feels like when moving at a significantly faster reading speed. How it feels like when reading faster than your normal reading speed. And second, you get a sense of the eye and hand motions necessary to enable you to read quickly. Once you have developed these skills and become familiar with the process of faster movement, you can expect higher comprehension levels to follow. So, let's start. First, select a book to practice this drill, this exercise. Keep a timer next to you. Now, the first minute. Using the underlining hand motion, read for one minute and place a light mark at the spot where you stop reading. Count the number of words you've read during this minute. It will tell you what your approximate reading speed is at that moment. Second minute. Using the underlying motion once more, start reading two times faster. Don't worry about your comprehension. You are focusing only on speed reading at this moment. The third minute. Using the underlining motion once more, start reading three times faster. Again. Don't worry about comprehension. You are focusing only on speed at this moment. And the fourth minute, using the underlining motion once more, start reading at your normal reading speed. During the fourth minute, you are focusing only on comprehension and not on your speed. Now, this completes your cycle. You have to repeat the same cycle at least four times. It will take you 16 minutes to complete those four cycles. Do this drill daily. I recommend you to do it at least 30 minutes daily, but normally 60 minutes is preferred. And in the end, please share your comments, opinions and ask any questions related to this lesson and course in our discussion section. Alright, with that being said, let's move on. Thank you very much.